Hi everyone, I'm the Plant Propagator and if you haven't seen me before, welcome to my channel. If you have seen me before, welcome back. Today we're in the laboratory again, I'm in the hood and I'm going to be doing some orchid seed plating. Uh, orchid seeds are very, very small and they have to, and, and a single seed capsule can generate between 100,000 and a million seeds. So they're usually a lot of seed that will generate a lot of plants. I've got two seed capsules that I'm going to sterilize, show you how to sterilize, and I've got seed uh, that I'm also going to show you how to sterilize from three different orchid varieties. The seed capsules, first of all, I have a seed capsule from a cross that I made, and that's should show you the two different seed capsules. So this is from a cross I made right here and this is a another seed capsule that was provided to me and, a, and there may be fewer seeds in this capsule than this capsule. Uh, this is from a cross I made and this is a this is a Cattleya cross and it should give me a lot of seeds. I hope it's ready. It should be ready. It's been about six months since I pollinated so this guy should be ready to go. Uh, it's just a Cattleya cross. This is a uh, Prostichia boothiana, and this capsule right here is a lot smaller, and this was provided by uh, Trisha Rose, who is with the uh, Gulf Coast Orchid Alliance. And I've got a capsule here that hasn't split, and then I've got uh, seeds of the Prostichia as well. Uh, to sterilize these seeds, I use bleach and I use Clorox bleach and I'm using a 50% solution of Clorox bleach that I made up just a few minutes ago here and the sterilization process is pretty simple. You just take the capsules and I should say if you have capsules that are all the same size and you want to distinguish one between the other and batch sterilize you can put a number on with a sharpie. Alright so number one sterilized and I can tell the difference so I don't think we need to put a number on this guy so number two and what we do is just sterilize like this 50% Clorox with a little bit with a just a, a drop of detergent uh, and the detergent allows access of the Clorox. Clorox can uh, disinfest through chlorine gas that is produced and the uh, soap, the dishwashing detergent, allows the chlorine and the, and the Clorox solution to reach in and, and, and really disinfect the small cracks that are in here. So I will sterilize this for, the, it's about 20 uh, to 30 minutes. I'm going to do 20 minutes and then I rinse with water. The seeds are a little bit different. I should show you the seeds that I have and the seeds are from this is a uh, certipodium and these are this is what the seeds look like and they're just tiny dust like things in this tube and the seeds because they're so small they're a little more sensitive to the bleach so I'll only use instead of 50% I'm supposed to use 5 to 10 I'm going to use 10% bleach and but then it's the same type of thing you rinse you rinse with water I'm shaking because it's good to shake every few minutes you rinse with sterile water, uh, and at the end, I'll show you how to plate the seeds. So we got about 20 minutes, and then we'll rinse this and go, and then I'll do the I'll do the, the seeds that I have in these small tubes separately. So see you in 20 minutes. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes, not quite. I just wanted to one point I wanted to make is that. The Clorox that I use here, I do use Clorox brand. There's a little bit of a difference between brands, so I prefer to use that. The other thing that I wanted to mention is that I am working, you can hear the background noise, I'm working in a laminar airflow hood. So the sterile air is being blown, in this case, down, at, down and then out at me. So this is a clean workspace here. So I'll be using uh, aseptic technique that I'll show you a little bit about today. And you can't hear it because it's loud in here, but my timer just went off, so give it one more shake, and then it's time to wash. And the way that you wash is just to pour off the, uh, the soap and the bleach. You pour it off, and you rinse with using aseptic technique. 
you rinse with sterile water. And the only trick about this is to pour it out slow enough so that you don't lose your capsule. If you lose your capsule, you kind of have to start over again. The other thing that you may or may not be able to see is that there's a lot of a lot of soap in here. And what the soap is kind of, it's a the suds. It's a indicator of how much you rinse it. And you got to rinse it so that the uh, the bleach and the bleach smell is, is gone. And that's kind of, that's a good indicator for how much you need to rinse your uh, your orchid or your sterilized tissue. So I'm going to put this here. Grab my water. Then rinse this, and what I'll do is I'll rinse this. Sorry about that. I will rinse this. Usually, I try to rinse about um, maybe around five times. The literature says three times, but what you have to do is rinse, rinse about I think five times, so the smell of the bleach is gone. Okay, so here's the first rinse, and I'm just going to go through this. Okay, so that, that looks like that's a good rinse. There's no, you can see, there's no uh, soap suds uh, that foams I gotta get not don't want to get too close to it but there's also no no smell no odor of bleach that's left so I think uh, I think we're ready so let's uh, what I'll do next is take these capsules put them on in these petri dishes open them up see what we got Okay, this is the this is the moment of truth because you never know what you're gonna get in here. So let's uh, let's see what we got, and this is gonna be the easiest one to see. What we're looking for is some kind of white or cream-colored powdery stuff. So these are these are sterile instruments. This is my st and this is sometimes it can this is a little clumsy. So we'll see how we we'll see how this goes. This is called loaded. So those are dust-like orchid seeds, and there are a lot of them. So the next step, and it depends. I didn't. I didn't know what this was going to have in it. So the next step, I'm going to actually make a suspension of the seed and plate those out. So what I'm doing is I'm making a uh, suspension of uh, of seeds in this, and I don't I don't that's gonna get this close. You can see that there's a suspension of seeds here, 
And uh, what I'll do is, after I shake a lot of them out, I will uh, I'll plate them out on the medium, and there should be plenty, and I'll show you that too. Okay, so let me, I'm going to take a little bit of a break, and then we're going to take a look at the other seed capsule. Okay, so let's take a look now at the next seed capsule, and that's right here, and this is the, uh, this is the Krasikia Boothiana seed capsule. It's a lot smaller, and the ones that I've seen of this, they don't have very many seeds in them. They certainly won't be like that one. <laughs> this for a small seed capsule, this is pretty loaded. That's a surprise. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. So the cloudiness are all the small seeds in there. So this is loaded as well. Alright, so I'm going to try this. We'll take a look and see what happens. This is the medium that I'm using. This is a uh, orchid seed germination medium. Uh, and this is just one of the formulas that I uh, developed in my laboratory that I came up with. And the way to do this is pretty simple just going to take this, shake it up, shake it up again, and then pour a little bit out here. And I'm going to do that with a few, a few of the dishes. Okay, I'll, sh I'll show you the dishes when they're a little drier so you can see the number of seed that I have in here. And what I also want to do is uh, collect, I'll try to collect an image on a microscope and share that with you well, uh, as well as far as how the seeds look and what the embryos, if there are any embryos in here, uh, what the embryos look like within the seed. So let's go take a look at the other do the same thing. Right now just start off with a couple of a couple of dishes. Okay, so now I got to let these things settle and uh, I'm going to pour off their their seeds right now are in a suspension of water and I'm going to pour off We'll let the seeds settle and pour off that water and then uh, show you again what things look like. All right, the seeds have all been plated out and I left the dishes open so the seeds, uh, so, the, so the water would dry. So all I have in these dishes now are just seeds on the medium. It's a charcoal containing medium. But in this dish, there's probably, I would just guess around, you know, between one and 5,000 seed left in there. So we'll just see how it goes. Uh, the dishes have all been uh, labeled as far as the dates and the variety that I use. And the next thing to do is just to wrap the dishes and put them away and wait for a couple of weeks to a few months for these two 
grow bigger and germinate, and then you just transfer them to a new medium. So that's it for the seed plating from the capsules. And the next step is to now move on to the seed sterilization of the seed that's already been removed from the capsules. That's a little different and a little bit more challenging.